Over the next four days, Dave Cameron and I will brave the wild Canadian jungle as we backpack 43 kilometers along the rugged north coast of Vancouver Island. We'll traverse rivers, slog through endless mud pits, and stop only to camp at some of the most stunning beaches found in British Columbia. With the community of Port Hardy as our destination, the plan is to spend a comfortable night in a hotel before catching the water taxi to Cape Settle, the starting point of our adventure. Once dropped off, we'll have 75 hours to meet our shuttle at the Cape Scott Trailhead. It sounds achievable until you discover you're completing an obstacle race with a suitcase on your back. Packing for a trek like this was an undertaking in itself. Using 20% of our body weight as the recommended carry maximum, we soon learned that the pounds add up quickly and we would need to make some sacrifices. If you have ever tried to pack a big vacation into carry-on luggage only, you'll understand the creativity required to make this happen. The trailhead for most hikers is at Shishardi Bay, but we're bypassing the first 16 kilometers of the North Coast Trail and heading straight to Cape Settle. The Shishardi Bay to Skinner Creek Overland section is referred to as the bog. If you enjoy a good mud bath and have the time, don't skip out on this part of the challenge. Thank you so much. Yeah, you bet. I'll put in the window. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Woo. I'm huffing and puffing already, and we just started. Well, I just told Cameron, it's, this is the hardest we're going to see. Our goal for today is to get from Cape Subtle to Shuttleworth Bight. This inland section of the trail has been referred to as the Subtle Scramble and is considered very difficult. With the average walking speed of 5 kilometers an hour, 8 kilometers should normally take about an hour and 40 minutes to complete. But that's before you throw in carry weight and a jungle gym for fun. Oh, it smells so good. This is gorgeous. It's so lush. The forecast for the north coast of Vancouver Island can appear pretty grim. Low temperatures, high precipitation. I was worried about being wet and cold until a local pointed out that visitors come to Port Hardy for the adventure, not the weather. It's so humid, even at 15 degrees, that it feels like it's like 30. Cameron just asked why anyone would willingly torture themselves with a vacation like this. And uh, at this moment in time, I'm asking myself the same question. And this was my idea. I thought a few days surviving in the wilderness, feeling nervous and uncomfortable, could be a fun family bonding experience and a great way to test our mettle. Although Davis completed the iconic West Coast Trail, Cameron and I are mostly car campers. Hey, bear. Just trying to make noise. Whoa, literally just did the sideways splits. That one's gonna hurt for a while. Oh my, I keep thinking it's just around the corner and then it's like, okay, well maybe it's around the next corner. With a six hour intense workout under our belts, it's time to set camp and recharge with some beachfront apres and a good night's sleep. <laughs> this is awesome. Rain <laughs> and shorts with a two gone. Good morning. Good morning. I don't even know what to call you. <laughs> Terror of the night. Terror of the night? Hey, I've never ever heard someone so aggressively move around. I'm sorry, I couldn't get comfortable. We didn't sleep so well the first night because you're not used to the sounds in the forest and you're not used to aching bones and aching muscles. The hike from Cape Subtle felt like doing one of those mud races with lots of obstacles, ropes, mud pits, you name it. This is awesome. This is good. Wow. Yeah, walking on the beach, it's nice and hard. Today we're hiking from Shuttleworth Bight to Laura Creek. This 12 kilometer leg of the trail will be mostly beach hiking with a little forest trekking and mechanical fun sprinkled in. I'm coming. Suspended from a cable over the Stranby River, this unique form of car transportation operates by using gravity and a haul rope. It turns out that hiking for hours on slanted and unstable cobblestone beaches is not comparable to romantic strolls by the sea. Luckily, there are plenty of comfy resting spots along the way to soothe your aching hips and take in the beauty of nature. Day three's mission is to get from Laura Creek to Nissan Bight. This eight kilometer, moderately difficult portion of the trail will lead us inland and present more bogs, bridges, and boardwalks. 
We slept 13 hours last night, obviously exhausted, but it's been so much fun. I love mud. I love getting dirty. It just feels, I don't know, it's exhilarating. Now 50 hours and 24 kilometers into our big expedition, fatigue is setting in and we're starting to move like zombies. Luckily, our hiker's high from all the fresh air and exercise will keep us going. Cameron just said, I want to hate this so much, but the endorphins are making me too happy. <laughs> I feel like I've sweat out about 10 pounds already. <laughs> oh boy. With this much exercise and limited water sources, brown water with earthy flavors and peat moss on the nose is a welcome luxury. Yay! I hear the ocean. Oh my goodness. This ocean looks so inviting after hiking for hours, slogging it, everything hurts. The birds are having a really good time. Wow. A wolf approaches you, scare off immediately and secure food. Never feed the wolf. Don't run. Act big and make noise. If attacked, fight back. Wow, we really scored with the weather. Now this is what it's all about. left to make it to our shuttle pickup at the Cape Scott parking lot. Today's 15 kilometer hike will gift us with lush rainforest and corduroy roads dating back to the late 1800s when Danish immigrants attempted to settle the land. We won't have time to explore the historic site around Cape Scott, but it's worth a visit if you have the opportunity. Look at this setting for tent pads. Wow. Amazing. I'm so tired. <laughs> Three kilometers left to go. How dare there be another set of stairs at the end of the hike. I'm gonna share five things that I learned from surviving this adventure. Number one, believe in yourself because you will be surprised as to what you're capable of. Be prepared, expect the unexpected because nature is very unpredictable. Less is more. Why carry a horse when you can carry a pony? Bring a good crew, positive attitudes, team players, find the funny and all the crappy situations that you will probably encounter. <laughs> I guarantee you that this mindset's gonna make all the difference in the world. All right, one kilometer left, we've got this. This is where I would really enjoy a golf cart. Can you imagine a golf cart on this trail? It is great for my complexion. This uh, North Coast Trail is like going to the spa. I face planted, thought I lost a tooth at one point, but uh, it's all still there. <laughs> 